This is the story of Aram Majid, a Kurd from the Iran-Iraq border. An adoring father of three girls, and a kind uncle and cousin. He's a shoemaker by trade, but a dent maker by heart. A dent maker, someone who isn't out to change the world, just someone with enough passion and purpose to leave a mark, to make a dent. Aram's cousin Khadija was born with a life-threatening heart disease at the height of the Kurdish mass exodus from northern Iraq when it was under attack by Saddam Hussein. Against all the odds, she survived into her teen years and returned from exile to her village in Iraq. Because of her failing heart, she wasn't able to do all the things other kids could do. She tired easily, came home from school early, and was often left behind on the long walk to school. One day in the market while I was buying shoes for our Buy Shoes Save Lives program, Khadija's uncle appealed to me for help. Just a few months later, with the money we'd earned from selling her father's shoes internationally, and with money his family had raised by selling their own shoes locally, we sent Khadija to a life-saving heart surgery in Istanbul, Turkey. But as it turns out, Khadija is only one of five close cousins born with these debilitating heart diseases. After too many decades of intra-family marriage, malnutrition in war-torn villages, and chemical warfare. We hear a lot of talk about the fabric of society. And maybe it's because he works with cloth and leather all day but there's something soft and organic about Aram's way of being. these strips of cloth that he and his family so skillfully string together, he knows that no two people are the same. But that doesn't mean they cannot live side by side. It doesn't mean they shouldn't cooperate together towards something greater than themselves. These shoes are a testament to the fact that pressure makes things stronger. Aram is tapped into the common thread running from southern to northern Iraq. In fact, it runs through us all. We all want to matter. We all want to be important, to be heard, to be seen. We all want to be loved. You've heard a great deal about the atrocities of Saddam Hussein. Usually these things are reported with attention-grabbing terms like genocide, torture, or chemical warfare. But those represent mere flesh wounds for the Kurds and the Arabs of Iraq. 
The real crime is that fathers and brothers were rendered worthless. The cries of widows were not heard by Saddam Hussein, and the voices of children were silenced by plumes of poison perfume. It's not just that people weren't seen, they were actually forced to hide. And far from being loved, they were despised, mocked, and used for sport. So today a lot of Arabs, Kurds, and Turks, Sunni, and Shi'i Muslims remain at odds with each other. But it's as if Aram prefers to see the common thread they share rather than the wedges that seek to drive them further apart as a people. For Aram, the continued downward spiral of Iraq is not a foregone conclusion. So just like you go to work each day planning to make a difference, Aram picks up his knife knowing that his work does not go unnoticed, knowing that he matters, and knowing that the shoes he makes are saving lives. He loves the opportunity to tell these kids that they are seen, that he has heard their cries for help, and that he is leveraging all he knows to make a dent in their situation. He works hard to send his kids to college. He works hard to send children to life-saving heart surgery. And he works hard to avoid lazy, dehumanizing stereotypes that keep Iraqis bent against each other. But one of the things he loves most about his work is the chance to tell you that you matter. Because even though a border or an ocean may separate you from the children he's trying to serve, Aram knows that it only takes you two minutes on a simple website to pick up a new pair of handmade shoes and change the world for that next child just like we did for Khadija. You can make a difference simply by staying engaged by getting informed, and by offering a hand up, and not only a handout. Every purchase sends Iraqi kids to life-changing heart surgery. Buy shoes, save lives. It's that simple.